All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be uh, looking at the backstays. Uh, as you can see, I've just got one backstay on the uh, starboard side uh, hanging foul here. Uh, and the reason being is I'm going to show you how I'm going to do one of the backstays. As you know, I've got eight backstays to do. So, quick camera check. I've got both cameras uh, actually running. And if you do like the overhead ver uh, with the side view um, videos that I did in the last video um please tell me in the comments um both cameras are rigged up in 4k i know you guys aren't actually watching them in 4k i do have to downscale uh, for youtube but they are actually being recorded in 4k and i hope you actually like it i do like the fact of having the down downward video as well as the side video but it's up to you guys do you like it um I am still learning the, the software. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually switch between the two cameras, not just have the two cameras showing up and whatever. However, let's get back to this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tilt the model. Okay, so I can see them. I can actually watch on the phone camera. I can't watch on the actual 4K um, action cam because it blanks out the screen. Um, so, yep, that worked. So what I've done is I've made um, this little thing. And what this is, is just a little piece of brass that I had. I've uh, got the plans out. And I've basically bent the brass uh, to the required size. So what I am doing if I come down here, is I'm just going to put top block in. Um, okay, so I will point out that these are have been twisted slightly as they've dried, uh, which is going to be a problem. And I think I just got the wrong one. Yeah, I did. All right, I'll just fix that up. Okay, and the idea is we're, we're just going to slide that in. So I'm roughly going to, everything is roughed until, come yeah, on, oh yeah, here we go. This is the painful part, by the way. Because what we want is that in the opposite order. Hang on. So you've got the three holes in your block. You're all well aware of that. The top hole goes to where the where that uh, knot is. So what I'm going to do is hopefully get this to not in properly. Now I am only using a half inch because I will be tying these together in a moment and I've lost where my thing is. So I'm going to put this back on here hopefully. Go in. There we are. All right. So that just gives you an idea of how it's going to sit. Now, unlike before, where I used the tan, uh, this time I'm going to use the brown. So what we're actually doing is sort of eh, we're um, making it sort of disappear. Now the tan is going to be used. And this is where we're going to have this little problem. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone a little bit higher. And this time around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work 
down uh, towards where the bottom, uh, where the um, the half edge is. And yeah, this is a pain in the butt. I'm not going to snip it off just yet because we actually want to do one more thing before we do that. Nope. Yep, we're just going to let the rope go because that's a great idea. And yeah, while you're doing this, you're going to have to be extremely careful how you're doing it. Because what you're really doing is tightening up, tightening up the half inch. Oh my god. I have not done this in such a long time. So every time you do it, you work your way back towards the half inch. You actually do a knot, that would be handy. And the reason we're doing this is because as you come down towards that half inch, you're actually tightening up the half inch. So you're tightening up the line. And there's just, yep. Yeah. Okay. Get that out of the road. Wow. This is just not... I actually think that'll do. Now, on a real ship, uh, this is actually very similar to um, how a real uh, sailing ship would be. I'm not going to take it all off just yet because what I want to do is just do a couple of quick half hitches a little further up. Not too far, but not too close. Again, we're simulating what you would see on uh, an actual uh, vessel and they would have this done in half hitches or shrouds uh, most likely uh, proper shrouds I can't actually do the proper shrouds on this I did try um, the model is just too small uh, to allow for it it is so easy to get things caught in this. And what we're doing here, um, okay, actually I want to do just one more, is we're really not going to, well, um, Crap. Oh, come on. You weren't supposed to do that. You know you weren't supposed to do that. You just did it anyway. All right. So, uh, tighten that up. Pull that up. Push that down a little bit. So, we essentially tightening all this up we're going to grab a little bit of glue no we're not it's been so long since I've used the glue I've actually glued the top on that's clever there we go now as I said before we just need a little bit of glue and we do actually need to be very selective here 
Too much glue is going to make it look really meh. Uh, not enough glue, it won't hold the knots. So you do need a dab of glue. Like, little dot, little dot. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this tail off. We'll trim these, trim these, uh, and then we will get to the next part. We'll just give that a moment. Right. Now, carefully. Because the last thing you want to do is actually cut this line here. Now, you might have some leftover lines, so don't throw any of the line away just yet, okay? And we're going to need this in a moment. Uh, this is going to be fun. Alright, so... This is going to be absolute guesswork. Um, just going to... And, yeah, you're going to have to guess as well, because quite simply, what's going to happen is you're going to have to pass this tan line um, that you can see on screen uh, through these blocks but at one point you're going to have to put a knot in one end which literally means you make a loop twist it several times and pass the end back through the loop now, we'll grab that. So, what you're actually looking for is to make a knot. Which is bigger than the hole that you're actually going to put it through. And on this end, of course, um, I'm going to put some glue. And this is where the first the part, uh, fun part comes in. You just twist that out. Just like that. As the glue dries. And again, much like almost everything we're going to do when it comes to lines, it's going to be the same. We're going to put a little uh, glue on the end. Um, we're going to twist it, make it nice and tight. We're going to trim it slightly, uh, that way we can pass it through the holes. That's the theory. Let's see how well the theory goes. Uh, no, crap. Glasses. I don't normally need glasses, but we're talking some incredibly small spaces at the moment. Now... The little holder you can take away. We're going to start at the top, ish, I think, if we can if we can get to it. Didn't go through far enough. Um, we're going to pull it through. Yep, yeah, that's about right. And. Let the line relax. Every time you pull through, let the line relax, okay? Remember how I was doing the top part here? I let the line relax. That's to take out the twists that will develop in the lines. And it will actually develop. Now, this one isn't done entirely uh, correctly. So... Again, just feed the line away, let it relax. Good. 
turn it, feed it. Pull through. Doesn't have to be overly tight just yet. Just needs to be in there. And grab the line again. Now I will tighten these all up. So it's not a big thing. If they're a little loose, that's fine. Don't panic. You can do that at the end. Because don't forget, you're actually going to be grabbing this block and giving it a little twist so you can feed the line through. And as you can see, that line is starting to twist up. And we're going to do the last one. And then what we'll do is we'll start looking at tightening these before we do anything else. So feed the last block or the last hole. Just like that. Nice and easy. And leave it loose. Now we started at the top here. We know that. A little bit of a tug. Again. And this is what it comes down to now, it is just, what we're doing is just tugging it through until you get what's relatively firm, but you still have a bit of movement to it, okay? And that's about what we're looking for for that side of things now again feed that out the back and what we're going to do is actually twist it around bloody everything because way too much line i'm not worried about the fact that i've got too much line this time because i'm going to be using so much of this so what I want to do though is a couple of half inches if I can oh god I took the glasses off now I can't actually see properly well that was a bad idea so look, what we want to do is take that line around to the back Pull taut. Just a couple of little tugs there. Take one again. Nope. We'll try that again. There we go. And again, we're just feeding it down over all this. Just sort of bringing it up tight. Bit of the time. You're in no rush. You don't need to be too concerned. The more concerned about getting this into the right, roughly the right spot. Bring that up. Oh, I got the wrong the, the first one in the wrong spot. I've got the second one in the right. Oh there we go. So as you can see here, we're just making these little half hitches where this one has come through. And that, you put a third one on. Uh, 
uh, put it into position so line is behind it looks good it's out of the road nice neat tidy dab of glue Now, you don't actually have to put glue on if you actually trust your knots. I don't trust my knots. Not at this scale, anyway. Um, you can do it without putting glue on. I would strongly suggest you use the glue. I would also strongly suggest you make sure that you've got the, the right piece of cordage. We'll put that aside. And there we have it. That is the first back stay done. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to do the opposite side and it will be um, either side as I work my way down. Um, and the reason we do that is to keep the same tension on the main mast. Uh, if you do all one side and then you do all the other side, there's a very good chance that you're going to pull the mainmast, um, uh, either port or starboard. It's going to be out of alignment and it will be very, very noticeable. Um, you may not think it, but trust me on this, it will be noticeable. If you do um, one side and then the other side, it will keep the mainmast, well, keep the mast basically uh, centered. It will look good and... The one thing you want to do, especially with this, okay, little tool, is every one of these that you do on both sides is done with the one tool, okay? It may give you a little slope. That's fine. Don't be too concerned about that. Um, but that little brass tool will give you the best look um, that you can have with your backstays and if you keep everything happening uh, here so everything's roughly that same size and you keep that line your first rat line going across is probably going to be about this height that's about the right size for this model um, for a human to uh, stand on the gunnel uh, grab the rat line and actually lift themselves up so don't go too high up here, don't go too low, just remember you still have to put this line in and as you can see it's not too bad. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to put all the rest on uh, and I'll bring you back uh, once I'm finished. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome back. As you can see I now have all of them done. Sorry about the camera, I'm actually holding the camera at the moment, so it might be a little shaky, but now we can deal with that. Um, if I can get it to focus correctly, they're relatively even. Um, uh, they'll do the job. It's been a while since I've had to do them, so I'm a little bit out of practice, but as you can see, they're relatively even. Uh, they'll do. They look good. So, as you can see, I've got all eight of these done. So, in the next video, I'll do uh, the two of the uh, top masks. Uh, one goes uh, to a dead eye, and one goes to the block that you can see uh, just aft of the blocks, aft of the uh, dead eye, sorry. And also in the next video, I'll um, uh, do the four stays. So there's four of those that have to go on. They won't take uh, long to do. So that will be the next video. So hopefully you like this video. Uh, if you do, of course, do the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. You know, all the good things. Don't forget to hit your notific the bell for your notifications. Leave comments down below. And hopefully it's not going to take me several weeks to get the next video out. Sorry about that. I was, um, uh, well, I ended up getting a few Star Wars models. And if I pull back off this ship, 
the moment and I know this is going to go a little bit dark but I have um, done the Millennium Falcon the Death Star and TIE Fighters uh, that one there by the way is my wife's model that is the Endeavour Longboat um, she did that many 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 years ago and if we quickly turn around um, there's the X-Wing uh, and it's up there because I've run out of space. And if we come back down to uh, the dockyard, uh, underneath there is another box which actually has the Razor Crest and a sand crawler in it. I haven't done those yet. So those are the side projects that I'm doing uh, at the moment. But I am actually going to be getting back into the boat, uh, the Scottish Maid. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, fair winds and following seas.